Hello and welcome back to All Indie. Today we are playing Into the Dead, Our Darkest Days. I I think I saw this game on Steam. <clears throat> and it's sort of like, it's not really, uh, it's kind of like a 2.5D like, side-scroller. Um, but if you've ever played This War of Mine, I think is what it's called, this game really reminds me of that. Um... It's sort of a, I guess it's a mix of this War of Mine and um, State of Decay because like you've got to go out, you you and your other survivors are like hunkered down in a house, but you also have to go out and explore and like get resources and of course survive the zombies and I they're gross. I won't lie, they're gross. I'm trying to do this intro and listen to them gurgle at the same time is not fun for me. So anyway. I've been I've been looking at this game for a while. It's been on my wish list for it, I think maybe six months, uh, maybe more. Um, and I was like, I the demo I think came out maybe a week or two ago of recording this, and maybe two or three weeks as of posting it. So I was like, we've got to give it a shot. I absolutely love these kinds of games. So we're gonna see what happens. People of Walton, this is your mayor John Ward. Now I want to take a moment. To thank y'all for your patience, resolve in these most challenging times. It's that southern spirit, it's that Texas grit that gives me full confidence that we'll not only get through this crisis, but come out stronger on the other side. I only wish I could be here to see it now. However, folks, I regret to announce that today, I'll be moving my office to a secure spot outside the, uh, the city limits. Now, no need to go assuming the worst. <laughs> this move is strictly to facilitate better coordination with our boys in uniform, who are at this very moment putting together a surefire plan to retake our city and eradicate the... Huh? So, so just uh, hold tight, secure your homes, and I assure you, the tide will turn. God bless you. God bless you. I'm not sure if anyone out there is still listening to this trash, but if you are, know this. Nobody is coming to help you. <laughs> There's no plan. They... What they did, it's wrong. It's all wrong. We are trapped. And staying here isn't an option. You have to get out. Escape the city any way you can. Get out now. Ooh. Yes. I I love a good setting, a good intro setting. Uh, Sebastian, uh, are there other couples? Oh, there are. Choose your survivors, Daryl and Leo. Okay, hang on, we gotta read up a little bit. Um, choose your survivors, Sebastian and Diane. Diane spent her time outside of class, waiting tables at the local bar. Saving for a pair of high-end turntables, she had always struggled to connect with Sebastian, the bar's reserved and curmudgeonly owner. But now, having fled the establishment, the two find they share something in common. The will to survive. Sebastian, with the cowboy hat and the unkempt beard, my man, you look urbudgeonly and rugged. Uh, let's see. Gunsmith, uh, gunsmith, ranged weapons are cheaper to repair. Marksman deals more damage when using firearms. Jaded morale is, rest is restored slower than other survivors. Ooh, that sounds like a bad time. Diane, untiring, loses rest slower than other survivors. Cool. Optimus passively gains a small amount of morale every phase. So you kind of... You kind of even him out. Poor craftsperson. Barricade repair is less effective. Oh, great. Yeah, we're going to just have you throw up some walls. Anyway, Daryl and Leo. Daryl, an irritable high school basketball coach, has been grappling with a difficult student named Leo. Despite his frustration, Daryl is determined to stay by Leo's side and help him locate his family as the city descends into turmoil. Well, you're a good man, Daryl. 
iron stomach can eat anything without getting an upset stomach. You, you, you right. Old Daryl over here has eaten everything from, from possum to bad grits, and he ain't gonna be upset about nothing. That's, that's Daryl. That's gotta be Daryl. Anyway, Whitler, melee weapons are cheaper to craft. That's nice. Bad cook can only cook slop at the cooking station. I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, tough. This survivor takes less damage in combat. Slugger, increased damage when using melee weapons, so you two have a pairing here. Voracious loses more hunger each phase. Interesting. Oh, okay. Hector and Kayla. How many of their... Uh, Daphne and Penny. Oh, wow, there's four of these. Okay, hang on. I'll try and go through these quick, but I do want to see them all. Uh, Hector and Kayla. Hector, a rebellious high school student, would frequently clash with her overprotective father, Hector who would often push her into uh, embracing his passion for outdoor living and self-reliance. The repair manage, the pair manage to reconcile after the chaos of the outbreak, a tragic loss of Kayla's mother. Gearhead gains an extra component resource for each dismantled item. Fortifier barricades are cheaper to repair. Insomniac loses more rest each phase. Kayla is evasive. Small chance of not taking damage in combat. Escape artist creates, create more lock picks when crafting at the workbench and lightweight reduces backpack space. That's kind of cool. Daphne and Penny. Daphne, a dedicated therapist, was helping her patient Penny manage her intrusive thoughts and violent impulses. Whoa, baby, we got a winning pair already. However, as the city fell to the end of the pair, uh, started relying on each other in ways they never anticipated. First aid training, medical items are cheaper to craft, good cook, recipes generate more food to the cookies, a pacifist, attack damage is reduced. Okay, so Daphne's not going anywhere. Blade expert, increased damage when it, uh, using a bladed weapon, makes less noise when scavenging, haunted, undead attacks may also add a trauma state. I think I'm just going to go with Sebastian and Diane, but I did want to show, I didn't realize they had, I they've. I think they've only been showing Sebastian and Diane in their, in their videos, and this is like a pre-alpha build, so I didn't even know that they had like sur more than one pair of survivors, but we'll go with Sebastian. Good old Sebastian. Daytime, Wednesday, August 20th, 1980. This shelter won't do. The barricades are in bad shape and there's barely enough here to survive. We need to move to a new shelter as soon as possible and then find a way to escape this hellhole. Okay, objective, find a new shelter, move in. Cool. Phases, each day split into two phases, daytime, nighttime. During a phase, you can assign survivors to stations to craft, resolve their needs, or scavenge, confirm actions to end the phase, put survivors to work. Okay. The map station is where you assign survivors to scavenge nearby locations for resources. Scavenging begins when the current phase is, the current phase is ended. Okay. Oh boy, undead attack. The undead hurled themselves against the barricades. You managed to hold them back this time. Barricade. Oof. So we're at one. We got one bar on us. Oh, and I am making a lot of noise already. Okay. Oh, these controls are going to take a little bit to get used to. Cool. Uh, so let's see. It doesn't seem like anybody's hungry. Any, it doesn't seem like anybody needs food. Uh, do I have like anything going on? Repairs three chunks of barricade. That would be. Can I add it to the queue? I do it more than once? No. Okay. Uh, okay, now I'm her. Can I also have you? Oh, that's what that noise is. Oh, they're coming in behind us. Sebastian. Sebastian, we gotta get out of here. Oh, but you need some rest. Can I get, can I have you rest at night? It doesn't seem like I can do much at all. Like, can you? Oh. <laughs> I like the way she just fell out. Uh, and then confirm. Okay, night, Wednesday, August 20th. Oh! I like the way she just hopped out of bed. Undead attack. The undead hurled themselves against the barricade. Man, just holding them back. Cool. Who do I want to go out? I guess I'm gonna, I'll start with Sebastian. Hang on, actually. He's fine. You seem like you're more alert, more awake. So we'll send Diane out first. My boy was working on the barricade. Okay. Uh, windows are boarded. Oh, is that what this is? 
cool. Barricade, medium zombie density, low. 38 Irving Drive, once the best house on the worst street, but it's hard to tell the difference now. Some cupboards and drawers may contain food and other use for items. Sure. Yeah. That's it? That's all I got? Wait, what? Hang on a minute. Is there another? Ten to barricade, had to key, remove last key. Wow. Wait a minute. Is there not like another? Another station? You're telling me I ain't got nothing? Okay, hang on though. I'm I'm okay with that. Whatever. Let's just do it. Let's go scavenging. And then, do I want you to do anything? Yeah, like, can I, I guess, can you, you seem like you're doing okay sleep-wise. Uh. Oh, the city is doing great. Yeah, you seem to be doing okay on everything. So, like, I'm actually okay with you doing, I ain't scared of those things out there. Oh, oh, ah, I'm sorry. Oh, I made a mistake. Please stop knocking. Go away. We don't want any Girl Scout cookies. Leave us alone. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna roll with it. Be careful, losing a survivor means they're gone for good. Ooh. Oh, the pressure, the stress, the zombies. It's all starting to get to me now. Whatever will I do? I'm so excited for these for this game. Honestly, I like these kinds of games. Uh, honestly, just just because like this war of mine was really good. I don't know that I spent a ton of time in it. How do I? How does one relax? Crows? Oh, cool. I'll take that. Um, this war of mine was really cool. It was very atmospheric like this. Oh. Doesn't seem like anybody's in s anything's inside. Can I shut this door behind me? This might be a mistake. <laughs> oh! Oh, hell no! Oh my gosh, it sounds like the, it almost sounds like a mix between a zombie and a witch from Left 4 Dead. Oh man, that, <laughs> this noise honestly, I triggered a fear deep down in me from my Left 4 Dead days. <laughs> I'm assuming I can sneak up behind you and like... Oh, okay. I'm here. What? Oh, it's so loud. Oh! Okay, that may have been a mistake, but... Still. Okay. I wanted to see what the combat was. Uh, yeah. My gosh. Raw meat and a couple of vegetables. I wanted to see what the combat was. Um, apparently, for the most part, you're supposed to, like, sneak past zombies and stuff like that because it can be very overwhelming very quickly. <laughs> Scissors. Okay. Close. Bottled water. My partner and I were stuck here in the police station downtown on the top floor. We've been here for feels like forever. If you're out there, you gotta come get us, please. We've been rationing what food and water we have left, but it ain't gonna last. Oh, cool. Value records, Griffith and Sons hardware, our shop, Presbyterian. Okay, cool. 
Interesting. I, so I wonder if I can go get those guys. And I'm assuming I can. Uh, with the weapon equip. <sighs> oh, yeah! Get them! Yeah, zombies! <laughs> yeah, I absolutely... Yes. Can I equip the hatchet? Yes, please. Actually, the hatchet is a better item. This one's less noise. We're going to keep doing the scissors and we'll just do some sneak attacks. How do I go back? How do I get out of here? Head back to shelter. Okay. I think, I mean, I think I've done everything. Ugh. Daytime. Yeah. Money. But the undead attacked. Ooh. Okay, so can we not cook? You hate to see the city like this. Can I not eat? Like, what? Can I... If I hit... Oh, okay, and that just raises her food and her health. Oh, and I got a small bandage. Can I... Oh, and it says... She's healing? Does she need to rest? Okay. Hang on. I don't see anything else around here, so maybe I'm just gonna, like... I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Wow. Uh, wow. And this, I, this video has been really, really long, but okay. But that's the point of these. That's the point of these videos. I show you a tidbit. I get you thirsty for indie games and you go out to steam and you check them out for yourself. So I'm going to end the video here. I'm super stoked about this game. This game is right up my alley. Um, I personally, I like game loops like this. Right? Like, State of Decay is also another good one where you're like, you go out, you loot, you kill zombies, you come back, you drop stuff off, you like, recruit survivors, you make weapons, and you do all that. Um, so, link in the description before, this has been Into the Dead, Our Darkest Days. Check it out, link in the description below. Support your indie game, indie, indie games and your indie devs. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Oh, hell no.